Have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crano! Skate Lad! Wolf Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. And so, before I dismiss you for the holidays, let me remind you to never forget what the holidays are truly about. They are not about the things we might get, but rather about what each of us can give. With that thought, my young charges, run along now and enjoy the very happiest of holidays. Ooh, and don't forget to join me at our state's world-famous holiday recital. My fellow Golden Throat chorus members and I will be singing as a gift to you and all our neighbors. Imagine that, our teacher singing in our state's most spectacular spectacle. I can't wait till I'm old enough to sing in the pageant. This is turning into the best holiday season ever. Well, it's about to really get going, because it's time for Timo to meet our all-time favorite action hero, Mr. Gruff. Root me, Brenda. <laughs> One cool hombre. The coolest skate lad. Wait, <gasps> look at Governor Kevin's limo. Using reverse alchemy, I will now turn this shiny gold limousine to lead. How's that for an unhappy holiday gift? Alkalites, see that I'm not disturbed. Who are those guys? I don't know, but I think it's time we introduced ourselves. This will teach the citizens of this so-called state not to be so preoccupied with shiny new things. No <gasps> such lesson will be taught because no such lesson is needed. Oh, it's the shiny new superheroes. Alkalites, subdue them. Good work, Brenda. But what are you doing out here, Timo? Shouldn't you be inside with Mr. Gruff? On our way, Chief. But we thought we'd give you a little present first. And I know just where I'll keep him. In jail. I'm sure you'd like to believe that shiny new thought of yours. I'm sure I do believe that. Now move it, Meatball. Our work here is done. Now let's go meet Mr. Gruff. Mr. Gruff? <laughs> now there's a voice that could rattle a silent night. Ah, Timo, meet Mr. Gruff. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Gruff. I'm pleased to meet you too, kids. Sorry we're late, but we had to apprehend Mr. Alchemy and his alkalites. Mr. Alchemy, huh? I have sympathy for the joke. Stopping crime is always more important than photo ops. And the slight delay gave Mr. Gruff and me a chance to catch up. Catch up? Yes, we're old friends. Mr. Gruff even test drives all our Level 7 vehicles for us. When you get old enough to use it, you kids are gonna love the Teemo tank. The Teemo tank? We're still working on the suspension. Well, you've got a few years to get that down. Okay, line up. Let's take the picture. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and kicking Kwanzaa. You got your gov here. What? Oh, man. Okay, we'll get right on it. What was that? Well, apparently that Mr. Alchemy blew some strange immobilizing powder at the chief, which allowed him and his alkalites to escape from custody. We're on it, sir. It was nice, nice to meet, meet you, Mr. Mr. Gruff. Same here, Timo. Now go get that jump. If Mr. Alchemy is still trying to turn gold into lead, there is only a few places he'd go. Like the mint. Yeah! Mr. Gruff! Mr. Gruff! Keep cool, kids! 
I sign autographs for everyone. Please sign my book. You're awfully big for a kid. My parents are tall. Well, remember, no weight left until you're done growing. Oh, I forgot. I am done growing. What the? I can't move. That's what my immobilizing power will tend to do. Now I'll use my Voxinator to borrow your voice. My voice? You're crazy, Chuck. No one can steal Mr. Gross. Voice? Well, I just have. Ha ha! Unhappy holidays, Mr. Gruff. Captain C here. Hey, kids. Mr. Alchemy has immobilized Mr. Gruff. No way. Way? But it gets worse, because he's stolen Mr. Gruff's voice to boot. That's crazy! Most villains are a rope girl, but why would he steal Mr. Gruff's voice? Color me clueless, but several eyewitnesses have reported seeing Alchemy and his alkalites heading toward the state reservoir. We're on our way. Alchemy, you cannot run from your guilt! You shiny new superheroes are too late! I've just dumped Mr. Gruff's voice into the state's water supply! So everyone in the state will be infected with Mr. Gruff's voice! That means the state's golden throat chorus will be golden no more! Oh man, you're gonna totally mess up the state's world famous holiday recital! That's right! And I have a little holiday present for you too! It's not shiny and new, but it will immobilize you! Acolytes, blow! <gasps> Unhappy holidays, kids! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Paulson and Samantha. I was starting to cramp. We unfroze Mr. Gruff, too. Oh, no. Mr. Alchemy's plan is working. Afraid so, kids. And getting Gruff's voice back ain't going to be easy. Why doesn't Mr. Gruff just drink the state's water to get his voice back? Drinking the water won't help him, skate lad. Seems that Alchemy Trump actually sublimated Gruff's vocal cords. What's sublimated mean? Sublimated means changing matter from one state to another. Anyway, Mr. Gruff's vocal cords have literally disappeared. We must find Mr. Alchemy. How are we gonna do that? Hey, is that Mr. Alchemy's cloak? Indeed. We can use my dog Action to track Alchemy down using the scent from his cloak. Hey, Action, wanna track down another evildoer? <laughs> Out of boy action. Dang, my voice sounds funny. Have mercy, so does mine. Oh no, Mr. Gruff's voice is spreading. Yeah, and not only does everyone sound like Mr. Gruff, they talk like him too. Wouldn't you if you had Mr. Gruff's voice? I sure would, chumps. <laughs> hey, that sucker turned all my gold ribbon into lead. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll get him. Action! Huh? There he is! Alkalites, immobilize them! Shiny new gas masks! That's right, Mr. Alchemy! On second thought, Alkalites, please! After them! That Trump stole my snowmobile! Can we borrow one to go after him? Sure, skate lad. Just wear helmets and bring them all back. <laughs> Mr. Gruff, can you drive a snowmobile? <laughs> Mr. Alchemy, you and your Alco lights must stop! Fools! We'll never surrender! You better stop! Really? You gotta stop! Why should I? Help! You're coming with us! Once we dig you out. Ooh! Mr. Gruff must eat right! You may have caught me, but I've still won. The Golden Throat Chorus can't sing. I've ruined the holidays! <laughs> Nobody can ruin the holidays, Mr. Alchemy. It can't be done! And we'll prove it to you. Here we are. Silent night! Holy night! Oh! I don't understand. They're still singing, even though they all have Mr. Gruff's voice. That's right! That's because it's the spirit of the season that counts. And to think, I thought the holidays were all about shiny new stuff. 
Well, you were the only one who was thinking that. Yeah, well, I get that now. No, boy, I have to undo what I did. My normal voice is back. Hurrah! Oh, I sound like my sergeant. Oh, oh, I'm I think Mr. Gruff would like his voice back. Don't worry, Mr. Gruff. I'll return your voice. But we have to get it back from everyone else first. Well, what are we waiting for? Happy holidays, wonderful citizens. Have your voices back. My vaccinator is almost completely full of Mr. Groff's voice. Just a few more people to go. Who's left, Alchemy? Oh, oh uh, I guess me. And me too. Here you go, Mr. Groff. Finally. You're lucky it's a holiday's Alchemy, because Mr. Groff always keeps a holiday spirit in his heart. Thank you, Mr. Groff. That will allow me to always keep my teeth in my head. Beyond that, I've learned from my mistake. And to make up for the damage I've caused, I'd like to do this. Ooh, yeah, very, very good. It's nothing, really. Especially when compared to the beauty of the true spirit of the season. Yeah, I have sympathy for the chump who doesn't get it. So do we, Mr. Gruff. So do we. Happy holidays from... Timo Supremo! Nothing better than flan. Beats the tar out of that tired old tapioca. Hey, kiddo, looks like you got something in your hair. Really? Yep. Now hold still. Will you look at that? It's my old friend Sacagawea. Tantalizing trick. Thanks, Grandpa Gordon. <laughs> well, can't have you walking around with money in your hair. <laughs> and if you ask me, you should lose the cape, too. I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be sly, Crando. Timo Supremo's made quite a name for themselves, but there's always room for improvement. But how did you know I'm... I mean, Mom doesn't even get it. I know a hero when I see one, but it's been a while. Back in my day, the state was kept safe by the patriotic sentinel of freedom known as the Silver Shield. The Silver Shield? Yep. You and your teammates might learn a thing or two from him. The Silver Shield looked defiantly at his foes before charging at them with his battle call, Let Freedom Reign! And with a toss of his shield, those blasted enemies of the state were stopped in their tracks. Cool. Thanks, Grandpa Gordon. Hey, Crandall. <laughs> no, over here. What the? Crandall! Boo! Grandpa Nick! Hey! Hey, yourself, my boy. Though I'm a little surprised I could sneak up on Captain Crandall so easily. What? It's okay, but I think the element of stealth is sorely missing from Timo Supremo's tactical files. Gee, maybe it is. Yes, back in my day, stealth was the key to the scourge of the underworld, that mysterious champion of the dusk known as the Dark Talon. Patrolling the night skies, the Talon made sure the state was safe. With surprise, his claw gloves and grappling cord, his only weapons, the name of the Dark Talon caused even the boldest bandits to cower in fear and wish for daylight. Wow, the Dark Talon had a very different style than the Silver Shield. The Silver Shield, that goody-goody announced himself to his foes. Let freedom ring indeed. Say, you two talking Silver Shield? That's right. I was just about to tell Crandall why Silver Shield couldn't hold a candle to Dark Talon. Dark Talon? The guy who only came out at night? Talk about a part-timer. Nothing part-time about it when you get the job done. It took Silver Shield 30 years to apprehend and subdue that enemy of freedom known as Comrade Z. That's because he recruited scores and scores of like-minded comrades to assist him. And when I did catch him, at least he stayed put. When you caught him? Gosh, Grandpa Gordon, you are the Silver Shield? I am the Silver Shield, and I did more for this state and the freedoms you enjoy than the Dark Talon ever did. 
Shall we take this out in the snow? I've got my claw gloves in the camper. Claw gloves? Grandpa Nick? That's right. Behold the man they called the Duck Talon. That was you? I guess that says something about your detective instincts. Luckily, Crandall inherited my superhero genes. His daytime profile, his battle cry. Clearly, he's got mine. The governor? Excuse me, grandpas. Wow, both my Earth granddads are superheroes? No wonder the elders of my alien world chose this family. In 35 years, the Duck Talon single-handedly rid our streets of over 1,200 hardened criminals. Big hoop. Silver Shield laid waste to the entire Grey Menace. <laughs> you two still love your comic books, don't you, dads? All right, kids, here's the haps. A group of second-generation jokers called the Sons of the Phalange are terrorizing the state and threatening to ring in a truly nasty New Year's. Those outfits are funny looking. Too true, Rope Girl, but when they get together, whoa, watch out. Whoa, a whirlwind. They remind me of the original Phalange Brothers. Who were they? They were a group of circus people gone bad who were eventually defeated by the combined powers of the Silver Shield and the Dark Talon. Not to worry, Governor Kevin. I think we know how to handle this. Go get him, Timo. <laughs> yes! Look at this mess! That'll teach the state for defeating our dads. Revenge will be ours, cousins. What are you doing, Cap? I recently learned the Silver Shield's tactics. And since he was one of the superheroes to defeat the old Flange team, I think they might work against the new team. Oh, maybe I should take my cape off too. Good idea. And hold your board up like a shield. What about me? Use your hat. Right. Now look defiantly at those bad guys and repeat after me. Let freedom ring! Let freedom ring! like the Silver Shield. Or three of them. Uh, no. Look, it's Teemo Supremo. Correct. And now I toss my Teemo Shield. But you miss. And we form our whirlwind. Looks like the Sons of Phalange blew you away. Sorry, Governor Kevin. I must have used the wrong tactics, but I'm sure Timo will get him next time. Governor Kevin, what's going on? Uh, Timo, you better hustle on down here. Looks like the Sons of Phalange are trying to rip the state capital apart. We're on our way. I think we should stick to the shadows until we're right on top of the twisted and wrong. Why is that? Because stealth tactics help the Dark Talon defeat their dads. And so did his claw gloves and grappling cord. Oh, my rope's got a grapple. And I had Mr. Paulson whip up a pair of level seven claw gloves for me. I don't have claws or grapples. Don't worry, Skate Lad. We can all be silent. Now, let's go. Boy, would our dads be proud of the illegal and dangerous havoc we have wrought today. But wait, in the shadows, it's Timo Supremo. So much for stealth. Quick rope girl to grapple. What? Incoming grapple. <laughs> Quick whirlwind. <laughs> It's like they were watching the shadows. Don't think we weren't. That's right. <laughs> Our dads warned us about how Dark Talon and Silver Shield defeated them the last time. And so we were expecting those methods. Yes. And now that we've defeated Timo Supremo, the entire state will be at the mercy of the Sons of the Phalange Brothers. Oh, man, Cap. What are we going to do? Yeah. They know our new move. Well, I think the only thing left to do is to go after them the good old-fashioned Timo Supremo way. You think that will work? Probably, but let's call Gene to make sure. 
Hello? Jean, Captain Crandall here. Hey, Crandall, what's going on? Massive destruction. Got time for a quick question? Shoot. We altered our crime-fighting style to try and defeat the sons of the Falange brothers, but it doesn't seem to be working. Do you think we should go back to our old methods? Well, you know what Shakespeare wrote in Hamlet? To thine own self be true. Sounds like good advice. Thanks, Jean. Well, sure. I have to know this stuff if I want to be famous for revitalizing life theater in this country someday. Okay, Timo. You're the bard. Let's get the sons of Falange with the moves that work for us. You got it, Cap. Chica! What's that? What's that? Ow! Ow! Ah, Chica! Hey! You broke our dad's nice shields! What? Oh no! He's getting away! Dark Talon! It mustn't be! Alas, though, it is! Ah! Really scared now! Got a hamstring! Let freedom reign! Silver shield! I never thought I'd have to face you two! I surrender! I surrender! Okay, let's go. I know I speak for the entire state when I say thanks to you two for swinging by and helping to nab the new slash old menace of the Falange. Well, since we were in town for the holidays, it only seemed fitting that we pass our legacy on to the next generation in person. And certainly these youngsters picked up a few things from watching us. Indeed. But perhaps the most important lesson for us is to be true to our own super selves. You said it, Cap. And what? But I still like hollering, let freedom reign! Figures. Fighting the original Falange was the one time we worked together. It seemed like a natural team-up. The Falange had wings, the Dark Talon had wings. They had shields, the Silver Shield had a shield. Wasn't easy with five on two, but we defeated those fascists anyway. Dad, are you at it again? Just telling the kids like it was. Oh, I remember all of your funny stories, but I've always been a little too sharp to believe all that superhero jazz. And let that be a lesson to you kids. Mm -hmm.